actually want to feel that. To the front. Distal femur. Feel for my knee, and I put my set my IR for 17 inches. Mm -hmm. I'm an inch, inch and a half, two inches below the knee. Line up my IR. What do I want? Epicondylus par parallel. Mm -hmm. I've collimated down as much as I can. I need to make sure I get soft tissue. There's my AP is a distal femur. Okay? Is it like that? Do we need to worry about her foot at all or is it just... It's rotated in. I have her, I have her uh, epicondyles parallel with each other. Just like I would for an AP knee. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to be getting two views of AP because we know that her foot is I have I have it I have my IR an inch and a half below the bottom of the IR an inch and a half below the inch and a half two inches below the knee. I just line it up to my central ray. Okay? What did I forget to do? Put my marker. <laughs> Boy, she's sharp. <laughs> Again, I collimated widthwise as much as I could. I have to watch out here to make sure that I, that I I still get soft tissue and stuff. Now, if I do the proximal portion, I feel for aces. Put my top of my IR at ACES. Not the prop, but the, the, the top, top of the IR. So I have my light field. Okay. Here's my light field. I have it set at 17 already. So all I have to do is line my IR up with it. Which one's your ACES? There's my proximal feet. Like right where it goes. Oh, like where you're at. Oh, at the top of my IR, Benny. Okay. Okay. Top of my IR, Aces. For an AP of the proximal femur. Yes. 